Greetings everyone, it is I, the Mighty Jesus. I am back with One Piece, Chapter 1079. The Emperor's Crew, the Red-Haired Pirates. Today, it seems Germa's 66 ex emotional excursion is over. For now, we have readers' requests for the cover pages of the chapter. Luffy is watering a lion by mistake instead of a sunflower. That is the request. As we see Luffy just doing that, and the uh, lion looks very dejected as he is getting wet. Well, he's getting watered by Luffy because Luffy thinks he's a sunflower, which is really funny. Yes, it's it's a cute. This is probably the most light hardest light hearted part of the chapter. Yes. All right, so we start off hours earlier before the attacks happened on Egghead. We see the one in the one who designed the attack, York. Hours earlier, this is a problem. The world government isn't just erasing the Stella; they decided to erase me too. Well, I've got a my well, I've got a plan of my own then. First, I want you all to go around and get rid of all the obstacles for me. Now that the Frontier Dome is closed, go ahead and kill everyone, except for me and the Stella, and the people underground. And we see all the Seraphine obeying their, obeying York's order. Understood. Now, when you start causing a ruckus, they're going to be looking for the culprit wondering who gave you orders, and I don't want them to figure out it's me. Because I'm not strong enough to beat the others. So, S Snake, I want you to pretend to pretend to beat me while they're watching. Okay. And then you undo your power when they're not. Okay. Also, I'm going to warn you about the place about the place in the lab you're not supposed to destroy. Alright, let the hunt begin. And obviously, so that's how York got unstoned. By S. Snake's Mero Mero know me. But the thing is, does Frankie see that? Because he's still stoned, but not all the way stoned, you know? Alright, so we see panels of Egghead, Egghead Island. Hurry onto the ship as every person is evacuating while the PX, the new PXs, are defending everyone evacuating while everyone is evacuating we see a panel we see a zoom out panel of a ship appearing at egghead and it's not a navy ship as we see the flag of the ship it's none other than blackbeards but if we don't know if blackbeards on that ship it could have been any of his subordinates and i see a lot of people going around saying it might be kizuru kizuru i mean not kizuru i'm so stupid Aokiji, uh, you know, Kuzan. <laughs> I don't know why I said Kizuru. Don't mind that. <laughs> Anyways, we continue the chapter and we go back to where Kid is. Warland Elbaf, New World. Listen up, Kid Pirates. Don't even think of sailing up to our Captain Redhead Shanks. Ah, uh, someone's... All these random pirates are going about... Saying their things at kid. <laughs> as though told you. As though he told you. <laughs> I mean, owed you. An audience, ribbit. He flubbered, he flubbered his line. So we see this guy. He's the captain of the Puddle Pirates. Frog Toes Ribbitini. So he's like a frog. That's why he said he told you. <laughs> and we see another one. You said it, sonny. Fuga, Fuga, what's his name? Fuga Murugal? Fuga Murugal. You des, your dentures pop. <laughs> this old, this old pirate has his dentures falling out. Social club band leader, Fugar the Adventurer. <laughs> and we see another pirate also making their stand. That's white. You, <laughs> you bad, is that baddie? You, 
that's what that's why you bites i hate you you're so brave princess <laughs> she, she she's just like this weird she's just this um princess it seems princess of the bourgeoisie pirates Pururu the brave <laughs> she's not so brave it seems She's very worried, it seems that way. And her dialect is, uh, needs some work. <laughs> so obviously, Kid and Killer are a little distraught seeing these wa these pirates that uh, don't seem like they would be a part of the Yonko's crew. Are you serious? Is that really part of Red Hair's operation? This is the new world, right? Now, obviously, Killer is like, Still, there are some famous names among them. Don't get sloppy. I wasn't going to go easy on him, even if they are nobodies. And we see, uh, we cut back to Shanks. Hey, move those ships out of the way. What do you mean, Captain? We won't, we won't let him f lay a finger on you. I know, I appreciate it. But, but move all the ships. Are you leaving already, Captain? Just when we finally saw you? It was only supposed to be a pit stop. Instead, I stuck around, to, around long enough for a big shot to show up. Get off and let me walk and move those ships. <laughs> everyone's just... Everyone's just jumping onto Shanks like, No, Captain, don't leave us. <laughs> and he's like, Get off and let me walk and move those ships. <laughs> Remember, my affiliates... Are famous for being weak. <laughs> so his affiliates are all weak. Huh. Ha. Tell us how you really feel, Captain. <laughs> how? Tell us how you really feel, Captain. It's why we're still alive. Because you, your flag protects us. Worry less about dying from combat. And more from old age, Chrono. So this, there's an old lady who's like, it's why you're still alive. It's why we're still alive. Because your flag protects us. And he says, worry less about, di worry about, worry less about dying from combat. And more from old age, Crow Noli. Ha! <laughs> Stuff that sassy mouth of yours, Captain. So, obviously it seems Shanks is known for uh, saving weak pirates which is interesting I wonder what his goal is with saving all those pirates don't worry captain we'll hand it handle it come on he's worth three billion don't underestimate how fast these young guns can grow are they healed up from the, the fight in Wano already he seems healthy to me he's raring to fight Oh, it's uh, Usopp's dad, Yasop. He he can see through the telescope, and he's scouting kid. Well, that's good. You got any intel on Blackbeard? Nope. Just that he's left Pirate Island. And I'm sure I was sure he'd show up at Wano. Here's Captain Kid's data. So Sh Shanks has a Shanks has um intel on blackbeard i wonder how he's got that intel hmm all right so this intel is of cap captain kid he's reading right now from the south blue looks like he's been in plenty of scraps and we cut to kid how many ships nine and i see a few faces a few faces from bounty posters i don't care who they are i'll wipe them out in 10 seconds flat with my damned punk Started, he's charging up his railgun. Whoa, what's that? A cannon? Is it pulling the ship in? It, it is... Is it pulling the ship in? The cannon might be pulling in the ships. And we see... It seems... It seems Red Hair Shanks caught a vision of what might happen. Uh, he had future sight. No. What is it, Captain? Scatter the fleet. Don't worry. Broggy. D oh, Dory. Dory, Broggy. Assume positions. You got it. 
and it seems he has uh, Red Hair Shanks has got a future site where he saw what could have happened where all the ships and people got disintegrated by the Gauss cannon well his rail gun the damage is too extreme I think he's seen an ugly future yeah so he's seen the future I knew it huh <laughs> see kids reaction to seeing red hair he's here divine departure Oh my god. This slash this slash just took out his his railgun while knocking everyone else unconscious with the conqueror's hat off you. <laughs> and oh all of kids crews that are getting knocked knocked out by the conqueror's hockey are just falling off from the ship as kid falls down flat. Captain and red hair just slowly sla saunters over to kid and it seems even killer got hit by it one shot one shot and all it took was to knock out kid and killer it got killer too when he stepped in to protect him the captain's not moving he's dying uh, we surrender red hair spare our lives don't kill our captain these are her road poneglyphs, all of them. I don't know if red hair grabbed those. Those are the road hair. Those are the rubbings of the road. The road poneglyphs. And we see red hair's crew call out to him. This way, Captain. Huh? Hey, look at that island. Oh no, it's Dorian Broggy's attack. Shanks just, I don't, did Shanks take the rubbings? Well, he, he got off the ship. He definitely jumped off the ship. Hey, tiny humans. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you want to point your guns at our home, just remember what goes around comes around. Ga-ba-ba-ba. It's Dorian Broggy. And they're using a hack. Hakoku sovereignty, just like Big Mom's attack. Hakaku, Hakak, Hakaku sovereignty, and it just strips right through the ship, leaving a. Well, I mean, the ship doesn't look like it could travel anymore because there's a giant hole in the ship, straight down from the front to end, as it, and then we see in the narrator and. At Elbeth in the New World, the three billion bounty pirate Eustace Captain Kidd and his kid pirates destroyed. And we see the last panel of a not very uh, happy looking Shanks. Oh man, he is really intimidating. And it seems like, like how Shanks was going to go about it was very civil. Until he saw what kid was pulling out of his pocket was a gun right out of, well, right out of Doom with the BFG, a big, big, you know, BFG, right? And obviously he says this damage is too extreme, like pointless shot, slaughter. So he had to be stopped. There was no honor or any of that kid just wanted to go on a rampage it seems he wanted to prove himself to be strong in the end he bought it bite off he bought he he bit off too much he could chew which sent him to a shallow grave well not a shallow grave but we don't even know if he's dead unfortunately but I, it's kind of a shame because i really liked kid's power it was very unique but that's what happens when you are arrogant and assume you have the assume that you have the power to defeat a Yonko. But this is crazy that like Kaido and Big Mom did damage to Kid, but they didn't kill him. I mean they didn't hit him in one shot to knock him out. Unlike Shanks, who literally just used Divine Departure, which was a skill that Roger used on uh It was a skill Roger used on um Odin. 
And that skill was passed down, it seems, to Shanks. And Shanks used it on Kid, and Kid didn't survive. <laughs> he got knocked out instantly, right to the gut. Though I have a feeling if his gun wasn't in the way, he might have died in the, right there. But I don't think Shanks would have attacked then, because... Because of the future site, Shanks attacked, obviously. And that's the end of the chapter, 1079. We see the wreckage of, wreckage of Kid's ship. Is Kid going to still be alive? We do not know, unfortunately. Hopefully, someone will fish him out. It would be a shame. But all we know is that the uh, Kid Pirates are no more. No more. Yeah. I have a feeling Oda will go back to Egghead, but I'm 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 wondering, what, who who is who is going to be the Blackbeard pirate that is coming to Egghead, and are they going to fight the Marines as well? We do not know until the next chapter. This is Jesus. I'm signing off. Ten out of ten chapter. Shanks is quite the intimidating guy. All right, everyone. As you can see, I'm wearing red today because red-haired shanks. Haha. -ha. Goodbye.